there's been a lot of interest in cholesterol and prostate cancer. A lot of it has stemmed from some data out there that statins may lower prostate cancer risk, lower progression. And despite that, there's actually, if you look at the body of literature, there's not a great correlation between cholesterol and prostate cancer risk. We do know cholesterol is correlated with PSA, which helps drive who gets biopsy. So it may actually affect our ability to detect it. So it's really important to understand, independent of detection, how does cholesterol correlate with prostate cancer? So to address this, we looked at the REDUCE study, which is a large randomized trial, dutasteride versus placebo, for, ran for four years. All the men had an elevated PSA, but a negative prostate biopsy. Importantly, they underwent biopsies at two and four years during the study, independent of the PSA. So regardless of the PSA, these men got biopsies at two and four years. And so we saw throughout the course of the study, using cholesterol levels measured at baseline, is that the higher the cholesterol, the greater the risk that man would be diagnosed with particularly high-grade prostate cancer during the study. Not low-grade, not overall, but especially high-grade cancer, Gleason 7 or higher, was significantly linked with high cholesterol. In addition, we actually saw high HDL, which we classically think of as good cholesterol, linked with increased prostate cancer risk. It's a little bit surprising, there's actually increasing data that says HDL might not actually be good cholesterol afterwards. For example, there's some data now showing HDL is not quite cardioprotective that we thought. We certainly know drugs that raise HDL don't reduce heart disease risk. So this concept that HDL is good cholesterol may not necessarily be true. So in summary, when PSA is controlled for, everybody gets a biopsy. We actually saw cholesterol significantly correlated with high-grade disease as well as the HDL. So the next step is to try to understand that biology, particularly the HDL is a little bit novel, and then figure out new ways. Perhaps statins are probably not good enough to really lower cholesterol and particularly targeting cholesterol uptake by the tumor.